In this video, we are going to look at some rare air recorders that are worth money. Welcome back to Couch Collectibles, everyone. I'm Justin. You guys are the Couch Crew. If you're not already a part of the Couch Crew, all you guys got to do is click that bell. It will notify you when I go live or when I upload a video. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on the videos because that's where we do the giveaways. And the giveaway going on for the next two weeks, which we're going to have two giveaways, but one of them that's going on right now is that if you purchase a package on CouchCollectibles.com, you will be entered to win a silver Morgan dollar. The link is in the description of this video. So let's just hop into it and check out these rare quarters that are worth money. All right, so first up is a 1976 Washington quarter. Now this is a very awesome coin. Boy, would I love to have something like this in my collection. This has been struck through a cloth. So when this coin was being produced, somehow a cloth had gotten in the way and uh, definitely affected this coin and therefore made it a mint error, which makes it a little more valuable or say a lot more valuable than its face value of 25 cents. Now obviously you see that taking place there on just the obverse of the coin, nothing happening on the reverse of the coin. This quarter here sold for over $880. Next up is another 1976 quarter. This is a 1976 Denver minted Washington quarter, now bicentennial quarter of course, and it's been struck through a wire there on the reverse. Now I'm not sure if I showed this exact coin in my bicentennial quarter video. However, we could see that wire there on the reverse of the coin. So that will give it value. And that's why this quarter sold for over $745. Moving on to a silver quarter. This is a 1943 Washington quarter that has a die adjustment strike. So we see that taking place around the rim of the quarter there, there on the reverse and the obverse. So the words are kind of fainted out, uh, the date is faded out, and that's where that die adjustment error is taking place. And that's why this Washington quarter here sold for over $800. Uh, just to show you guys a proof quarter that was also struck through some type of object that could be a cloth, could be anything that gets in the process of uh, the production of a coin. This is a 1982 San Francisco minted proof quarter. Now you can see there on the reverse of the coin that it's perfectly fine. You can tell the strong detail of the proof coin with the mirror like finish on it. However, on the obverse of the coin, you see that error taking place. And that's why this coin here sold at auction for over $745. Next up is a 1998, a more modern dated Washington quarter that has been triple struck. Now the second and the third strike has been struck off center. We can see that there in the images displayed, both on the reverse and the obverse here on the quarter. And that's why this quarter sold for nearly $700. Moving on to one of my favorite types of errors. I talk about these all the time. Found one of these on a coin roll hunting live stream. Uh, it was on a nickel actually, so it wasn't on a quarter. Pretty sure that nickel went to SJ's Mixed Adventures if I'm not mistaken. This quarter is awesome. It's got the cut error. Now cut isn't the exact uh, word for it. A die break is pretty much what a cut is. So a die break error is taking place there on the obverse of the coin where the date of the quarter would be. And you can see there that it does affect the reverse of the coin as well on the other side of the error. Now this quarter here sold for over $660. Hey guys, don't forget we're going to be live streaming tomorrow, 8.30 p.m. East Coast time. So I hope to see everybody there. Until then, I will see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.